Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to disassemble this strut assembly right here. Now I'm going to disassemble two, but I'm only going to show a video for one, okay? So the first things you're going to probably need is an impact and an extension. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an impact extension and that's okay. I have an adapter so it doesn't damage the impact. And then we're going to run this one on low also so that it doesn't destroy this part. Um, I have these uh, spring compressors and then we're going to go ahead and disassemble this. Now it's fairly straightforward to disassemble it. Um, you have to compress the spring first and then you're going to find that there's a nut over here. We you take this one out and then you're just going to take an impact. You're going to compress the springs and then you're going to go ahead and take out your nut, take out the springs and then everything should just disassemble like that. Now I'm going to try and do it right now and let's see how it goes. Okay, so we have this one right here and then now we're going to try and go ahead and compress these first. I'm going to reuse this one so I'm going to keep it on the side. We're going to go ahead, so here's how this one works right here, is that this one is on the loose end and then the thing that you attach to the extension is going to be right over here. We're going to go ahead and put it right over here because if you think about the, um, you don't want to use your impact over here, you want to use the impact over here, we have the most space. Well, I took it out and I didn't die, so there we go. Let's go ahead and pull this out. There we go. So that's the one thing you have to watch out for is that I didn't, you said I didn't compress the spring all the way. Therefore, this thing uh, kind of flew up, but it didn't flow out. Just so you guys know that an impact does make your life a lot easier. Doing these jobs actually makes it fun. And the thing about impacts is that it's just a really good tool for you to have. It's definitely worth the money to dish out. So I really recommend getting that tool. So it appears that this one is uh, the spring for the Z3. This one is smaller in circumference as opposed to this one. So we remember that the bigger circumference goes on the bottom. The small uh, circumference will go on top of the bearing and on top of this one, okay? So after you are, oh, that is bad. You hear that? This side has the crushed Z3 thing because I know that the last owner ran over it, and if you see this right here, I'm literally pulling it, and I push it down. It's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> so the salvageable parts is going to be, from this thing right here, the salvageable parts is going to be the dust cover. Not this one, you have to buy a new one. Um, two washers right here. You're going to go ahead and have... This one also, I'm not sure what this is. This one goes in the top, and then uh, that's about it. But you have to buy a new one like this because this one is shocks, and obviously, as you can see, this one is just gone, okay? So, next video, I'm gonna show you how to reassemble everything, and then that should be good to go. Uh, 